Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Driven Wild. Today we are talking about if you know I'm driving 12 miles, Uber Eats driver issues PSA to customers about tipping per mile. So we all know we have a dollars to mile ratio as DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub drivers. And, and that's because we need to make sure we make a profit based on the cost we're putting on our cars. That said, this person has making a PSA to customers on whether or not a customer should be tipping per mile. So with that said, we are talking about everything that is being said in this article, how it actually is for DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub drivers and customers and everything in between. So with that said, let's get started. How much should one tip when ordering on Uber Eats? TikToker Alyssa at Alyssa Arm shared her perspective as an Uber Eats driver on how much customers should be tipping. She says you should tip $1 per mile. And as you could probably guess, this was a very hot take for viewers. I'm going to leave their TikTok as well as their profile in the description so you can develop your own opinions on the subject. And it is TikTok, so it's obviously people who don't like tipping in general. So I'm here for the chaos. So a good rule of thumb when tipping your food delivery drivers to me is at least a dollar per mile from your house to wherever you're ordering from. My rule of thumb personally, and you don't have to do what I do, but this is what I do, is $5 minimum or 20%, whichever is higher. And then usually what the company pays out would cover the rest of it. Now on Uber Eats, obviously there's a lot of problems there because you got $2 base pay, $3 base pay in a lot of cases. But in most cases where the driving isn't all that much, that'll cover most of it. Obviously, if they're not right there at the restaurant, it's going to be more miles for them, but that's really not much of your concern. Yeah, there's a lot of customers that complain about the distance between the restaurant and themselves being short and then complaining about, Oh, I always make sure I cover their miles. Yeah, but you're not considering where we are and you shouldn't because you have no idea where we're at at the time. That's something I feel the companies should be covering. Like if you want me to get there and you want me to get from where I am to the restaurant, you should be covering that distance in miles. And on the flip side of that, a lot of people are like $2 a mile in total. And I agree with that, which is why I usually say $5 to 20%, whichever is higher. But that's really the rule of thumb in my opinion. Yesterday, when I did a 12 mile drive from the restaurant to the house and then I got a $2 tip, that to me is just ridiculous. Okay, but why are you even accepting that order? That is a very low tip order. I would have declined that yesteryear, man. Why are you acting as if you couldn't just deny it? Like, come on. In my mind, if you know I'm driving 12 miles from the restaurant to your house, it should be at least a $12 tip. Well, I guess that's a good rule of thumb for the other side of my argument. I usually say $5 or 20%, whichever is high higher, maybe the $5 should be offset by the idea of the mileage being higher based on the distance I'm driving. Great example of this. Going right back to her point, if it's a 12 mile drive, it should be $12 or 20%, whichever is higher. Maybe there does need to be updates to my own system in that regard. Obviously, if the weather is really bad or you're ordering a lot of food, especially drinks, because drinks can be really annoying to carry, uh, maybe add more, but at least one dollar per mile from your house to wherever you're ordering from yeah i know that a lot of drivers actually avoid bad weather in a lot of cases because yeah there's a lot of orders but that doesn't mean they're good it doesn't mean they're gonna get the orders done faster simply because there's more of them especially in the rain in florida where people suddenly forget how to drive he also pleads in the caption if there's a problem with the food they forgot to put something in the bag the food wasn't prepared right don't punish the driver reach out to the restaurant yeah that's not the driver's fault and in a lot of cases when somebody rates their driver and they don't put a reason why that ends up on the driver that's really screwed up the viral video video has 45,000 views and hundreds of comments. Many found Alyssa's tipping model controversial. The things you do for content, huh? You crazy girl, not happening, one shared. Alyssa responded, you're poor drivers. Uh, no, I respectfully disagree because those drivers would be declining those orders anyway. If they're not tipping, we're not driving. It's called no tip, no trip. Not no tip, make a PSA to customers that aren't worth the life value. Not no tip, do the order anyway begrudgingly. No tip, no trip, it's that simple. You know everything you need to know about the kind of customers they are. Girl, ain't no way. 
away. Nothing over 20% another viewer share. And you know what? Some people have a percentage in mind. That's fine. But don't change your rules because they aren't willing to tip more. Just decline their order. Yes, like I said, $5 or 20%, whichever is higher. But if you ordered a burrito and you're only willing to tip $3 for it, I'm probably not taking your order anyway. Alyssa responded, I mean, that's understandable if it's five miles or less. But if someone has to drive over 10 miles to deliver your food, you should take that into consideration. You know, one thing I do like about deliver that as of recently, or really just in general, after 10 miles of driving, they actually add extra mileage compensation. It isn't that much to where it's like make or break or it's worth doing really bad orders, but sometimes it ends up working out. Like in a lot of cases, I end up getting paid much more for those orders. Although it does add on to deadhead miles, so you gotta be careful. Other viewers agreed with Alyssa's tipping mile. I always tip per mile, $5 minimum, even if it's less than a mile away, a viewer commented. That's what I'm saying. Like, that is a good rule of thumb for that. Like have a minimum set and a general rule. I always tip fat to make sure the driver knows I appreciate them. And in return, I'm hoping my food is respected and gets there quickly another share. If I accept an order for any reason, whether it's a really good tipping order or if it's relatively okay order, I'm giving it the same level of service, but I'm doing that knowing that my service is higher quality than most. So keep that in mind. What is the general rule for tipping? The debate on how much to tip is age old. However, Nerd Wallet suggests the general rule for tipping is 15 to 20% of the bill. When it comes to delivery drivers, Nerd Wallet argues tip at least 15% per people bringing food orders, such as the pizza delivery driver or your week's groceries. And especially since the groceries are probably shopped and delivered for by the driver. And yeah, your pizza delivery versus a DoorDash driver depending on how you actually order. It's a good rule of thumb. I usually say 20%. You do what you think is right on that. This is my opinion. It's worth what you pay for it. None of you pay me. There you go. This person definitely should not be taking low tip orders or no tip orders. It's no tip, no trip. Not no tip, do the order anyway. Not no tip, make some PSA about those orders and the orders you have done. No tip, no trip. It's that simple. Because you know what you just said to your customers? I am taking these orders regardless. I'd appreciate it if you were kind enough to respect me. You shouldn't be asking for respect. If those customers don't respect you, that's it, you're done. We're not working with you anymore. I totally understand the frustration. Like in a lot of cases, and I feel like at this point it's been mentioned in the comment section fairly often, but ever since I stopped taking any order under a certain dollar amount, I basically don't even think about it anymore. Like at some point, I just see like a $10 order or a uh, $15 order, $20 order. Basically all the deliver that orders are like 30 plus. I barely even think about how much the customer tipped. And yeah, I do think that no tip customers are the fracking worst. And I agree with you 100% there, but this is your business. You gotta treat it like your business. You gotta set boundaries for your business. There are too many people that have unreasonable expectations for bad customers. And the lower the tipping customer, the higher and more unreasonable of the expectations that are placed upon the driver. All in all, do yourself a favor. Don't worry about the PSAs. Stay strong to the rule of no tip, no trip. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.